Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, cuddles, teasters. You here for hot tea? All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. I've come to the conclusion that Carlos King is actually very evil. He's one of those entertainment producer devils, and in my opinion, it's clear as day who the puppet master is in the equation. Now, granted, Mel didn't put an at on that but I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar she was talking about Carlos King. Carlos King is the type of black man that is truly dangerous to our community. And in this video, I'm not gonna spend too much time giving my thoughts and opinions, but I'll give y'all a few of my thoughts and opinions along with a debauncher and a deep dive. So let's get into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Y'all, Chaos King is the new name. Now I hear y'all comment that all the time, but I'm gonna have to go with it now. Chaos King is literally deplorable. I don't know if he does this intentionally, but Melody, I'm gonna let you know right now, this Negro do not like you. He does not fuck with you he's not good for you at all in no way shape or form he is going out of his way to intentionally ignore your hardships and your story now of course i'm just saying that based on what i'm seeing in the forefront i don't know what's going on behind the scenes but i got a chance to see how he responded to you being very emotional about how you felt about him co-signing your abuser and in my opinion his energy he was very much embarrassed and disturbed that you were holding him accountable in that way Way publicly and in my opinion everything that we have seen from him is outright lashing out from being embarrassed because he's one of them narcissistic black men look now look now y'all might not categorize him as a narc but I'm seeing traits of narc and we can talk about it in my other video but even if we don't put narc on him he's one of those entitled black men that feels as though he is deserving of things he's not willing to do for others he's also very egotistical which is why he loves and relate to marceau so bad and if you are the type of woman that will try to break his ego down he's going to try to make an example out of you i've dealt with plenty of these i've already made it very clear that i won't be reviewing love and marriage huntsville which i've never really reviewed but i will continue to debunk the lie because i do know there will be a plethora of them on this new season but carlos king said on his platform that he believes Juan Dixon from Real Housewives of Potomac is one of the most disrespectful reality husbands of all time. And I think Carlos is outright evil. How could Juan be one of the most disrespectful reality husbands of all time when he haven't even touched Martel's disrespect? He hasn't even reached the start of Martel's disrespect. And you sit your scrawny, ugly ass on Beyonce's internet and say that you believe Juan is one of the most disrespectful reality husbands because he didn't have his roommates back on a reunion? If this is not evident he don't fuck with Mel, I don't know what is. I'm sorry. There's something going on behind the scenes and they're both, in my opinion, making it very clearly known. And one breath he's saying on his podcast that reality shows can't be all about rah-rah, but missed one of the most best events that he's probably going to be privy to dealing with the Love and Marriage Huntsville cast. They didn't film Mimosas with Mel, but he had the nerve to film the Lovers and Friends event while telling Mel she she had to be in attendance with her abuser. This dude is literally filming a guy that has cheated on his ex-wife for five plus years, had a baby on her, harassed, taunted, and humiliated her outside of the divorce, then plotted to release revenge pee on her with his mistress that he had the baby on her with. While taking her to court for full custody of her kids, he asked for his daughter's profit from a business that he had no contribution to. He then went on a platform and tried to expose his ex-wife for standing up for herself after he stole $17,000 from her, which wouldn't be the first instance he stole money from her. I.e., he constantly lies about it to this day, saying that the 
judge told her or dismissed that when the judge actually told him to pay it back. But Melody told him, don't worry about it. She's going to get it back 10 times fold, which she has demonstrated everything that these fools have tried to do to her. She ironically enough have come out on top. I know for a fact there is light at the end of this tunnel when it comes to Mel, and we will see her be vindicated. Carlos, you have to understand the track record that you have accumulated for yourself dealing with people like Candy Burris, who has a fan base out of this ass. And yes, out of this ass and not out of this world. I think that's so funny. I heard that from a TikTok this morning. He's constantly speaking out for the Scots and Stormy. And in my opinion, I truthfully think that they are trying to ice mail out. And he is going out of his way to do certain things that he know would make any person feel some type of way. Him going on his platform saying Juan Dixon is one of the worst reality husbands of all time knowing that he still is filming Mel's baby mama when he was arrested for her domestic violence harassing communication is absolutely insane not only that i'm sorry do one have any type of a court case out there documentation of beating on his kids because Martel does. Now, one not the best person, don't get it twisted, but Robin ain't either, so she deserves that Negro. Robin is nasty, evil, and mean, okay? And those type of women, I think, deserve the disgraces of the world, which are the shitty men that they want to be validated by. Carlos is actually showing his true colors, and he was actually in the car with Nene this past, a few days ago or the other day, talking about respectful cheating he's always talking about women's business and this is why i don't like men because stop talking about women's business he believes that women oftentimes settle to be a side chick in atlanta because in atlanta there are um two or three women for every one man another foolish mental sphere kevin samuels bullshit talking point and actually y'all if you think about it this is why so many men act the way that they do and act so diabolical and deplorable because they expect you the mule and ass begging ass pick me to deal with any and everything that they dish out rather than choosing yourself if we had more women in the world that chose themselves that there wouldn't be many men out here really believe in this bullshit rhetoric but i low-key believe this rhetoric as well because you bitches be so thirsty for male validation it even at your own detriment unfortunately we see it so often plenty of women that opt to be second best because they will never be first pick and this is why i be telling y'all y'all need to start treating these men like shit because they ain't shit and if you really want to find what you're looking for treat them all like shit the real one that really loves and respects you will realize why you treat them like shit and fight to win your heart because men are literally delusional. They're fucking insane. It's all about the chase. If you one of them begging, mule and hoes that'll do any and everything to please a man nine times out of 10, you got the worst out the batch. Carlos is not for black women at all, in my opinion. He's for extorting them, but there are so many people that are gonna co-sign his bullshit. It doesn't even matter. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Has Juan Dixon has to be, hands down, the most disrespectful man I've ever seen on reality television. I would agree with that. I think it is so fucked up that your wife has to stand alone to answer questions about the transgressions that he made in his life that impacted her and her her position on this show. It was it was sad to to see that Robin had to sit there and answer questions about Juan as the breadwinner as the person who was on this show for eight seasons, and she didn't do nothing wrong. Robin didn't go out there and, and cheat with her ex and don't know who the father is. Hey, Mia. And we love Mama Mia, baby. But I've said this once, and I'll say it again, and I actually like Robin a lot. Robin, if you're listening, that man don't love you. He, 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 he doesn't love you because... I, I, the only way it would make sense to me is this. If you did something to him, we got Gordon showing up for Mia. We'll get to that in a second. 
Gordon showed up for Mia. And Mia has lay a low and spread it wide with her ex, baby. Okay? And Gordon even showed up to support the mother of his kids. I'm being 100% transparent with you all right now. Sometimes I wake up and I want revenge. And sometimes I want justice. So it's both for me at this point in life. I've seen, I've seen that she goes crazy whenever somebody speaks about her every single time. It's like that you. It's like you're talking about getting married. Or you're married. One or the other, you know? It's no... Oh, this my girlfriend. No, it's no. Oh, this my girlfriend. No, it's like shit. Are we getting married or we not getting married? You know, getting married or we not getting married? You know, it shouldn't be too many, too much in between. Because somebody that's trying to be <laughs> right. That's trying to be dating for you, my girlfriend, for five years. No, mm -mm. dating for you, my girlfriend, for five years. No, because mm -mm. when you got a nigga chasing for five years, <laughs> you know, bitch. I mean, he told her that he wasn't going to choose, and she so basically three more years. He he left it up. To her. To choose. Well, both of y'all, pretty much. If you want I would to. say both of us. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it took two to do what happened with us. You know? I got I you. Didn't just, I didn't just damn jump off the cliff for no reason. We did our dirt. Right. And, but the thing is, you don't disrespect my wife, though, you know? That's why I called her peasant at the beginning. Nobody knows that. He left the children in the restaurant with however many people was in the restaurant as babysitters to leave the restaurant and go and have an argument outside of this particular restaurant in Bridge Street with coleslaw. Uh I let her go on her rants, but she's upset with me about certain things. Let her do her thing, and then hopefully, you know, the, the light bulb will click off in her head and be like, I, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm not okay. fucking, I'm not profiting off of this much to be hurting my relationship with the father of my children, you know? I'm not profiting off of that much. It's not worth it, you know? Let me not make that sacrifice continuously. You know, like, I sent you some papers, right? I sent you some documents. No, you did not send me papers. You did not. I oh, thought oh, you told me you were hey, going hey, no, 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 to no. send them my, now. My, my, my people, stop. I'm so sorry. My but I needed those papers to come no. from you. No, so no, do no, I listen. have permission, or your permission to talk about those documents? No, listen. Oh, yeah, you have, you have permission. You have permission. So my PR sent you paperwork. I don't even, in terms of like discussing it or trying to say, oh, she was wrong on this, wrong on that. It's like, damn. It's like, I don't even like the back and forth, like right now, or period. You know what I'm saying? Well, I did do my research because I was like, let me do my research to make sure I didn't miss anything. And, and, and regarding the papers that you're talking about, I searched high and low because I, I want to be factual. I want to be accurate. I did not hear yeah. her say anything about that particular, what we're talking about. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. I was like, let me go back. Let me pull up this interview. And I didn't hear her. I, actually, what I heard her say is we're not talking about that. She did like about four or five motions against me um, in terms of being an abusive father to my son. Um, in terms of abuse and stuff like that, it's like I've never been an abusive person. I've never harmed my children and nothing like that. And I, well, but let me ask you this. Do you want to talk about this knowing that the kids could see it? Because what I saw is what the child said and not Melody. And that's why I kind of want to steer away from this. Because I, no, I read so, so, what so you're listen, so I read what you're this here. Yeah, so, so let me say this here. So if I get either one of my children right here, right now. But you don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Gotcha. My kid's not here. I'm, it's a hypothetical. If I got my children, either one of them right here, right now, and I ask them a question, I can manipulate them easily. Right. He said, he said, mommy said what? Mommy saying that you're like uh, cheating on her and stuff, like during you guys' marriage, like getting. Yeah. I don't know. And she also said that um, you keep getting like other girls pregnant and stuff. So I didn't ask her anything. Mommy told you that I keep getting other girls pregnant yes, and that I'll keep cheating on her. No, I don't want to. Why did she tell you that? No. Melania. I don't know, because she's telling us how we didn't realize when we get older from things, and she, like, still kind of, like, tells us that something. Did you ask her any questions? She just came out and just told uh, she, like, she, like, sits down and talks to us separately, and then we, she also gives us a therapy, and she talks to our therapist to tell us how we feel about, like, not to be in different houses and how we've been and stuff like that. Do anyone else? If, if you, uh, if your husband said that you abused your, your child, I don't, shit, uh, you're not going to have your children. You're going to be in jail or something like that, too. For 56 days, the judge took the kids away from me for 56 days. We were filming, and then I filmed a scene with my um, with my attorney talking about full custody. And then somehow, some way, Melody heard about that, and next thing you know, in December, um, my son had got like a scratch on his head. He and I, um, I was playing, we were playing around the table and stuff like that, um, but I got on to him too though, but he bumped his head on the table and scratched his little head. Um, and then, you know, instead of Melody giving me a call, she went straight to her attorney and and said that I, I hit my son 25 times. I, la I gave him 25 lashes and also hit him upside the head with a um, back scratcher and made him bleed or whatnot. 
So she had me in court for that. And she didn't even call me to ask me what happened. So for 56 days, the judge took the kids away from me for 56 days. I did see the documents that your publicist sent over with your permission. I saw also, Martel, that they gave you a trespassing warning. I saw that you were no, no, sanctioned. I'm, 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 sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't say they, our attorney, the our attorney. Okay, but it was in the court documents that was sent from your team. So it's, and also, um, you were sanctioned. That's why I didn't want to talk about it. Because no, 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 listen, no, listen, listen. It's oh, okay. I, it. You know, I sent it. I sent that to my publicist and sent it to you because I'm very oh, transparent. Okay, okay. It's, not like, it's not like my publicist went behind my back and got it sent to you. You know it, right? No, I don't. But that's why. Oh, okay. That's why. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. So, so okay. yeah, she sent, I sent it to her to send to you. I am an open book. I'm very transparent. Okay. It's the reason for all of that. So the reason that I was sanctioned is monetary only, money. She said that only thing is because I didn't want to go to um, counseling. I'm like, why I got to go to counseling? Because um, it all happened when Melody said that um, I hit my son 25 times. I didn't see that. I, well, I saw, no. well, hold on, hold on, hold on. It didn't say, I didn't see the part where it says Melody said. It said the child said, and it gave an accurate, in parentheses, right? Where the child quoted to the doctor, where the child quoted what was going on. Thinking about it, something totally different. You about to talk about the, um, like the punch on the arm or something like that. That's what you about to talk about. So that's, that's totally different. But it still happened. No, no, no. No, no, I'm saying it's still totally different what you're saying, what I'm talking about, something totally different. Right. So the, 20, the 25 lakes is something totally different than what you're about to, to speak on. Yeah. Okay. But it's still uh, it's still kind of in the arena of what you're talking about. And okay, the so, judge... so regardless, of, regardless of what, you know, we went to court for everything, and it was never found that I abused my child or my children, period. Well, so what they ordered you to do is to go to therapy and work yeah. with the guys. So, so, oh, so, so, yeah, so that was in the beginning. That's why... I was sanctioned because I'm like, for well, what? You know, um, so this happened at the beginning when, you know, it was more of like, uh, Marta, you struck the kid 25 times. That's when my children was taken away from me for 56 days. And that was before they even heard um, my side or what really happened. It just immediately to the kids. <laughs> Why did you lose trust in Arion when she shared with Carson what you and Melody had going on in your own private marriage? Did that make you feel some kind of way that Arion would share that with Carson, that other girl that appeared on Love and Marriage Huntsville? How did you feel about that? Oh, well, what did you, oh, I'm so sorry. What did she share with Carson? You know what she shared now. Don't play with me, Martel Hope. Okay, it almost like you're talking about yeah. something different than what I know. Okay, I, what hit oh, the so, internet. How did you feel about Arion taking your private marriage business to, to, to somebody she met on the internet? That had to make you have feel some kind of way. You, you know, so, certain people are, are opportunists, and they'll say and do whatever they can to, to get in and make them seem like they're a really, really good friend or something like that. And people just, other people, like they open up, trusting that, that those people or that person that they are who they say they are. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, because she knew I wasn't lying, but probably was trying to come up with an angle or way to discredit me. So, um, and again, I, I don't think that, I think that Carson a lot about things too, but I don't think that, well, I know that, well, I take it back. How do you feel about Arion discussing your marital business and what you have with your ex-wife with a complete stranger? I, I'll be real, I mean, that's disappointing, you know? I mean, yeah. everybody make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. So, um, I'm going to leave it right there. Yeah, but uh, did you have a conversation about the way that backfired on you? Because it's not good right now. Did you sit um, down and say, listen, when I talk to you about what's going on, you know, and I'm sharing with you as a woman, you know, then what, however long that was, that's not for you to go to somebody else as so a man. Listen, so listen, um, this happened over a year and a half ago. Mel and I, we talked about it a year and a half ago. We talked about it with Carlos a year and a half ago, and we talked to our attorneys about it. So my thing is, Carson, I saw her, her live, whatever. And she mentioned, she referenced Melody about three times on there. Was it two or three? You, I think you know. You, you, you do know how many times she Keep referenced? going. I'm, I'm following. I'm trying to process. Okay, so, so, so she, re she referenced Melody about two or three times. So I'm like, how is she so for certain that Melody got this information? Unless you already talked to Melody. And make it seem like there's no way that I could be telling the truth. As far as, I don't know what she could. I mean, that's why I said. I mean, whatever she wanted to come. Come. Go ahead. Tell, show your receipts. Like, what, what receipts could you have there? 59 weeks. So this was 59 weeks ago. General guys, we're, we're going to scroll all the way up. These are our DMs. And mind you, I, <laughs> y'all, cause y'all, y'all YouTubers, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get the tea and go do what y'all need to do. Y'all gonna have the receipts and dates and all this. I can't make this up, y'all. This right here, boop. She asked me to go to a comedy show. I cashed up for the money for it. In here. She asked me to go. This is me, her, her responding. This is, this is the child. Her asking me, she said, hey girl, what are you doing on the 25th? Me. 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 And so again, if anything, Ariane could only have said 
um, Martel um, is really upset and he's talking about uh, putting out a, um, a sex tape of Melody or something like that. I and then you even went as far as saying, but the video is of them. He's mad at me. He feels like I should just listen. Like, come on now. So Ariana didn't go to her and say that Martel talking about me creating a fake page and want me to post. Like, why would I need her to create a fake page and post what? Did you perform fellatio with, um, on, on, on a man? So I'm going to be real specific. Somebody performed it on me. You told me that you did it. I got the recording. I got the recording. I got the recording. I got the recording. I can create a fake page and post it. But then she was sounding a little distressed. Huh. Martel wants me to make a fake page and post as a guy and post a video of Melody giving him head, but wants me to act like I'm a different guy. Go ask her that. So let me finish, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how do you dad, feel about Arion just talking too much and oversharing? Sometimes I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. You know? At all. Um, so, so some people, you know, they make mistakes, you know, I've, um, I've, that's taken care of. And some people just make mistakes. If we enjoy this, let's sit down and talk about it and let that be it. If I do something that you don't like, call me. Don't go to social media. That's why I'm trying to tell her, like, you didn't have to go to social media if you heard something, call me. Because if I did, I'll come to you and we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't... Okay, we're going to start with this. Here's an instance where Slarion, his raggedy ass baby mama, took to social media and didn't call his raggedy ass and let him know that she felt like her son, baby Slaw, was an outsider. Everybody makes mistakes. What I'm talking about. Everybody does. Did you or did you not? Okay. Um. So, but that's beside the point. The, the, the major point is... You know, Melody could have called me, opposed to going online. Uh -uh, and, that's not that's not her responsibility. No, no, no. Let's no, not do no. that. That's not her responsibility. Are you okay, son? My son got sick from his sibling, unfortunately. He's not in daycare. He doesn't start daycare until August, so he got sick from being around his sibling. If Arion is having, no, no, no. hold on. If Arion is having, let's not do that because that's not your responsibility. If somebody's telling Melody, it's not your responsibility. If Arion is having uh -oh, a conversation, over a year and a half ago, never. If Ariane is having a conversation that you don't know she's having and Melody yeah. doesn't know she's having, you're both over here. That is not Melody's right. responsibility to pick up the phone, no. to call you about what Ariane is doing. You don't even no, know. So she's I guess, doing. No, you, you, you're, not, you're not understanding what I was saying. I'm, I, I'm following you. Okay, what, what I'm saying here is when, when Carson went live, mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel that if it, if, it wasn't, if it wasn't orchestrated by, I don't know, by Melody and Carson. I don't know, because again, Carson mentioned Melody's name two or three times, saying that Melody, y'all go ask Melody. I'm pretty sure she got the tape, or Melody got something. So if y'all think I'm lying, what y'all should do, the same way y'all been harassing me, is go ask Melody. Do you have a video giving your husband head? And I'm like, damn, they must have orchestrated something. Hey, boo, I don't have any plans. I'll be in town for a couple of days, and y'all have a comedy show on the 25th. I want to go. I'm about to send you the guy page. Everybody say he's funny. I've never even been to a comedy show on Huntsville, y'all, ever. Me? <laughs> Let's go. She sent me the guy page, whatever. I don't care who he is. And then she like, okay, perfect. The ticket's on his website link. I'm about to buy one. They only like $27. Me, buy mine, I'll cash app or zillion. Okay, send me your information. Then she sent me her cash app. I'm buying them now. I'm sending it now. So y'all can see. <laughs> let's, let's go to the top. Okay, so I probably start no, like knew of her, um, didn't meet her until August. But July 2021 was our first, like the first time she hopped in my DMs. I posted something. And as a matter of fact, y'all seen this post. Honestly, never trust a nigga with a baggy watch. Um, once Carson did all her stuff, I feel that Melody could have called me then. And, and Martel, what did you share with Ariel? Oh. And coming back from Florida. I was opened up to drama that I ain't been opened up to and I don't know how long because I really mind my business, stay in my world. And to be quite clear, I have stayed away from you. Don't hold me accountable for, for someone else being disrespectful. But Melly can't hold me accountable because someone else is acting immature and things of that nature. I am going to hold you accountable the same way. Yo, I'm going to hold you accountable the same way. I'm going to hold you accountable the same way. I'm going to hold you accountable the same way that I held you accountable all the years in my marriage that I was disrespected by this person and then you went and had a baby with him and kept with him even though they kept disrespecting your wife. Holds too going online, dragging me, making making me seem like I actually took she the didn't video. She said there's a tape. I listened to it. I heard her say, because I like to listen in the bushes. And she, she said there she is a tape that does she, exist. She, she drugged me. She don't know she don't know if it's a video that, that exists. She doesn't know that. She did I, 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 I sent her a screenshot. So there was a video alive that he did where he 
literally talked about the case and came for me. And I responded to that live. Things of that nature. So I just want to just come on and, and really just talk about, I guess, some of the things that's going on. Uh, this is the criteria. Like, we have to limit the babysitters. Um, again, guys, it's like 20, 20, 23 plus babysitters. Whenever I responded to that live, he sent me a screenshot of the video from the video. And I know the video. I remember where we were. I did. I sent, okay. her, screen, I sent her a screenshot um, of, of, of her and I. I did. I sent her a screenshot. And I sent you. Did you see that, that text message in your phone? I mean, that uh, my PR sent to you? There were so many images. I got to no, as many. No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry, but it, it was a, a text message. It was only one text message. And I sent it to you for the, I sent I'll, I'll send you okay. all these documents for a particular reason. And I asked my PR if you had seen it all. She told me if you've seen it all. Because when I when I talk, I want you to be able to be like refer to go it. Ahead, yes. go ahead. Um so the text message, I, I was telling you that I said stop bullying me. Um, okay, know, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Right. Go ahead. Like I was begging her like to, to like to stop going online, saying stuff about me and, and, and dragging me. And this was like a year and a half ago. I was like begging I her remember. Like, to stop, I saw stop that. bullying me. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think on her interview, she actually mentioned that. But I'm like, dang, if I'm up here begging you to stop bullying me, I could not have gone live before that and dogging you out. No, I was begging you to just leave yeah. me alone. And then I sent her a screenshot and I told her, I said, um, I said, I don't I don't care if this ruined me or not. I said, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I sent her the screenshot. And I never said I was gonna post a video. I never said that I was gonna do that, but I guess it kind of, it was saying that if you don't stop, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I do, you know. No, okay. Yeah, that's okay. it. Why do you think that Arion or Carson would make that up? Or Arion would make up the fact that there is a tape or, or video? Or, 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 or Carson would make it up. Only How would she know Arion though? Just, only because Arion mentioned it. I, I don't know. I got you. I mean, Arion could have just mentioned that Martell is talking about a sex tape, whatever. And then Carson trying to get on the show, which she's not going to get on. She's trying to get on the show. And now she's calling Melody. Hey, like, I don't know. I could have plotted something. I don't, I don't know. These... They're good at what they do. And y'all couldn't get her to discuss the tape. That's the issue at hand. But they're trying. This is what they're trying to do. At the end of the day, what they're trying to do is basically distract y'all from what happened, what she said, Martel said to her, what is actually going on. Never, I, I never said I'm going to put a video out. A video isn't out. No one told me not to put it out. A judge, and, I mean, we mentioned, she mentioned in court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I mean... I never put nothing out. Never said I was going to put anything out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why even go online crying or or making it seem like I did it or something? I have not. Well, it's not her I, fault. I, I, would not, I would not have done it. You know what I'm saying? I would not have done it. And this was a year and a half ago. We've already talked about it. If anything, it should have been more like, hey, we've already talked about it. I'm not even going to make it seem like this well, she, It's not about you and her. And I think you're missing that. It's about Arion telling somebody else. I think you and Melody were clear. No, so no. It's, it's about Carson going on live. Mm -hmm. No, it's about Carson going on live, set, putting stuff out. It's not, about, it's, person, not, it's not about we're a friend. You act as if you were a friend, right? You act as if you were a friend. You spend on like you were a friend. You was a fake friend. You was an opportunist. And now you're trying to jump on the TV show, being an opportunist. It's clear as day. And I hate it. She won't be on the show. She won't. I don't care. So she... Yeah. But Arion reached out to her, she said. So how no, was she an opportunity? No, no, no. I mean, how do you know that, Martel? You no, don't, no, women no. get on the phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because women get on the phone and they can talk. I'm a woman. I'm telling you. Women I'm be saying. talking about shit that men don't even know. <laughs> I so, know. Trust me. So I'm how saying. are you so sure of what this I'm girl so sure. said? I'm not so Thank sure. Thank you. I'm not so sure. Okay. But uh, Martel wants me to make a fake page and post as a guy and post a video of Melody giving him head but wants me to act like I'm a different guy. I said, what? I'm like, what? She said, Martel wants her to create a fake page acting like a guy and to upload a video of Melody. Actually, he's, she's actually giving her husband head in the video. But she, I, I'm assuming, now I did not see this video, okay? But I'm assuming, what I am assuming is that Martel must not be in the video. If he felt comfortable enough to even ask her to do this, he must not be in the video.
everybody. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. In, in, no. in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. In,